Can-Am is going to blow you away. My name is Chaz Rice. I do media and public relations for Can-Am. And we're here at the media intro and we're talking a little bit more in depth about the Commander. Let's talk about all the safety features that we built into this machine. So starting, you walk up to the machine. Again, this is our accessorized unit, but you can see there's a nice uh, big roll cage. The roll cage itself is, is not only aesthetically pleasing, but we built a lot of functionality into this cage. First, two inch diameter, high strength steel. What that means is we have the largest diameter uh, roll cage in the industry. Many points right here. Uh, you can see that we put a lot of design in the welds and everything, reinforcement points all over the cage. Why did we do that? Well, one of the things we wanted to get was ROPS approval, rollover protection structures approval. It's a vigorous industry standard. They do side load tests, they do top load tests. Basically, we test everything, every possible scenario of stresses on this cage to make sure that it passes that ROPS approval process. Um, going in, also, let's talk about side nets. Side nets here, uh, very easy to use these side nets. That's one thing our designers really concentrated on was user-friendly side nets. You can see it's simply just one click right here it falls nicely, you can get in and out of the machine easily to put it in. Simple as that. One click, forget about it, your side net is in place, you don't have clips all over the place, you don't have a door. It's a very, very nice user-friendly setup. Inside, for passenger, we have passenger handholds. So, we have a grab bar in front of the passenger right here. It's ergonomically bent, so your hands can be nice and comfortable on this. Also, we have a nice, solid, sturdy grip right here for the left-hand side of the passenger. So again, that allows the passenger to be comfortable in a wide range of riding positions and riding styles. So again, you have handholds that, that, uh, that you can put your hands wherever you feel comfortable and wherever the passenger feels comfortable. Another thing right here, let's talk a little bit about our seat belts. We have what we call an anti-cinch. So again, this has a little give to it, so in an off-road riding environment, you don't want to have a seatbelt that's constantly uh, hitting your chest and you're constantly running into it. You have a little bit, just the right amount of give, so it's a little added comfort for the seatbelt. It's a three-point harness, really easy to click it, and uh, it's, it's a nice system, again, designed with that anti-cinch for comfort. Speaking of the seatbelt, on the driver's side, we have a speed limitation without the seatbelt. So if you don't put the seatbelt on and you want to go out, the speed is limited to 10 miles an hour. It's a nice added safety feature, making sure that the driver is strapped in when they go and have fun. One thing we paid attention to is the design of the floorboards and the footboards here. So if you're a passenger in the machine and you want to really, you're in a situation where maybe you're going over some tough bumps, there's a nice big footrest there that will allow the passenger to really secure themselves in the seat with the hand holds and with that nice raised floorboard right there. Really, again, little touches like that that make this machine stand apart from the crowd. Each commander comes standard with two keys. You have a gray key and you have a black key. The gray key is just a standard key. It limits speed to 40 miles an hour. So that's, that's a nice feature that our intelligent throttle control allows us to have. Also, there's a black key. This black key is what we call the performance key. So basically, you can go out, you have unlimited speed, unlimited power. So it's a nice feature that intelligent throttle control allows us to bring a, a little feature like that to this machine. And as an accessory, we have an orange, kind of a worksite key, if you will. That key limits the speed to 25 miles an hour. It's perfect for uh, job sites, for businesses that want to buy these machines and give them the workers. They know that they give them that key and they're not going any faster than 25 miles an hour. So, here it is, the 2011 Can-Am Commander. If you're interested in trying one this summer, go to trycanam.com. You'll be able to find a demo tour stop somewhere close to you. You can go out, you can ride it on a demo track. Again, this isn't a cone course in a parking lot. 
It's an honest to goodness demo track, so you'll be able to fully evaluate the machine before you decide to go and see your dealer. And go to your dealer and, and uh, talk to them and see about being the first one uh, out of your group of riding buddies to own one.